Welcome back to his transform. Today, we will looking into how Huawei is making a remarkable comeback in the chip industry, despite facing significant challenges. Stay tuned for an exciting journey through their recent advancements. Let's start with a bit of history. In 2019, the US government blacklisted Huawei, citing security concerns. This move cut off Huawei's access to advanced chip-making tools, significantly impacting their production capabilities. Overnight, Huawei's ability to produce high-end chips, like the ones in their flagship smartphones, was drastically reduced. This ban meant that Huawei could no longer rely on international partners like TSMC, who were essential in manufacturing their Kirin processors. Without access to these cutting-edge chips, Huawei had to halt the production of its high-end Kirin chipsets. Despite these significant setbacks, Huawei didn't throw in the towel. Instead, they redirected their focus towards self-sufficiency. Their initial efforts were slow and fraught with challenges. Developing advanced chips requires not just expertise, but also access to the latest technology, which was now restricted. But Huawei's story is one of resilience. They began collaborating with local partners, leveraging every possible resource. They worked with SMIC, China's leading semiconductor foundry, and even utilized stockpiled equipment from ASML, a major player in the chipmaking industry. Their efforts bore fruit in August 2023 when Huawei introduced the Mate 60 series, featuring the 7 nanometers Kirin 9000's 5G chip. This chip was developed using older, less advanced equipment and technology, but it was a significant milestone. It proved that Huawei was still in the game. The launch of the Mate 60 series caused a stir in the Chinese market and beyond. It was a clear message. Huawei was not out of the race yet. The U.S. Commerce Department took notice, trying to understand how Huawei managed to achieve this despite the stringent restrictions. Huawei's success didn't happen in isolation. They received substantial support from the Chinese government, which saw the strategic importance of having a domestic chip production capability. Increased funding and favorable policies helped Huawei push forward. Collaboration with SMIC was particularly crucial. The Kirin 9000s used N plus 27NM technology from SMIC, marking a significant achievement for both companies. This partnership is likely to continue, with more advanced Kirin chips rumored to be in development. In April 2024, Huawei launched another groundbreaking product, the Pura 70 Ultra, featuring the new Kirin 9010 chip. Developed at SMIC's foundry, this chip showcased significant advancements and once again put Huawei in the spotlight. Tech Insights found that the Kirin 9010 chip further demonstrated Huawei's progress, causing a buzz in the tech community. The U.S., meanwhile, continued to scrutinize Huawei's activities closely. On the AI front, Huawei's Ascend 910B chip has gained substantial traction within China. It's becoming a preferred choice over U.S. alternatives, like NVIDIA's A100. Tests have shown that Huawei's AI processors are more efficient in several key areas. Recently, rumors have emerged about Huawei testing powerful new Taishan cores, which are said to be 175% faster than the Kirin 9000s. This has fueled speculation about the potential release of a dynamic 5 nanometers processor with the upcoming Mate 70 series. Industry reactions have been mixed. While some analysts believe Huawei still has a long road ahead to catch up with industry leaders like TSMC, others see their recent advancements as a significant threat to established players. One thing is clear. Huawei's journey is far from over. They're continuously innovating, leveraging their resources, and pushing the boundaries of what they can achieve despite the ongoing challenges. To sum up, Huawei's story is a testament to resilience and innovation. Despite the U.S. ban and significant obstacles, they've made impressive strides in the chip industry. It will be fascinating to see how they continue to evolve and compete in the global market. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, 
please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Stay tuned for more updates on the tech world, and let us know in the comments what you think about Huawei's comeback. See you next time.